I've got on blue today. I'm back in blue for years, and Susan was around during my early years. I used to always do blue and black. I was a blue and black girl, and then I was a teal and black girl, and then I was a hot pink and black girl. Have you noticed the similarity? There's black, pink, blue, black, purple, black. <laughs> I like black clothes, but I also, this is navy, so I'm out of the box today. Beautiful, it looks navy. beautiful so on you. <laughs> and I have a very little lipstick today because I used a color that's not my normal color and I gotta go back to my normal. But, but we are today celebrating life. We're celebrating that today is Hans Rupert's birthday. And we should have had a cake here for us to enjoy. Mm. No, I'm doing no carbs, we couldn't do that. Okay, okay. But, but, but um, we love Hans. Do. We love Hans. Love him. Yeah. And we love his success story because you buried your husband of many, many years from cancer after a year-long battle? No, well, yes, about, um, yeah. actually it was 10 and a half months by the diagnosis until he passed away. Mm -hmm. But actually he had cancer before. But wow. like some men do, they just don't go to the doctor. Some if men he had are, yeah. Stubborn that. about that, mm -hmm. but, yeah. but yeah, he's but gone. But Hans is, is a healthy, happy success story. Yeah, so yes. today, happy birthday to Hans Rupert. Today, yeah, happy, birthday. happy birthday to Siggy Taylor, who is Siegfried Taylor, who is Victoria, my beautiful granddaughter's oh. dad. And he and Hans share several things, including um, a stubborn parent, <laughs> because they both had a stubborn parent. And then they both um, have that German, I'm going to get it done attitude, which is a pretty cool attitude to have. If you feel like you're going to fail, you just get your German attitude going on and you're going to succeed. You're going to do it. And so thank God for Joe Rufert instilling his you don't give up attitude in Hans. And to Siggy, who was actually, he was in an orphanage until he was three years old and oh. he was adopted. Oh. And he was adopted by, by a very strong German lady who um, taught him to respect hard work and to honor mm -hmm. your parents and to do the things that you should do. So there's something about that German heritage that must work. Well, so. my husband um, is German. Mm -hmm. He wasn't born in Germany. He was born in Pennsylvania, but his mother's maiden name was Barr uh -huh. and uh, his last name is Liebert. And that's Alsace-Lorraine, which is half French, half German. Whoever yeah. won the war that year, <laughs> you know. <laughs> but yeah, crazy. there's a little German, yeah. got a little German there too. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So. Did he have a little of that stubbornness? Oh yeah. Oh yes. yeah. Yes. <laughs> he yes. did. Yes. <laughs> yeah. But that's okay. I loved him just yeah. the way he was. Yeah. You know. And how many years would y'all have been married this year? This year, well, it would have been over 51, 52, mm -hmm. but he died 15 years ago, mm -hmm. and we shared 37 and a half years of yeah. married life. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. And a true fairy tale. A true mm -hmm. fairy tale. It was. Now, we have another fairy tale we're going to tell mm -hmm. because um, not everybody who lives in Gilmer County was born and bred and raised here in Gilmer County. If you look around, a lot of people are from different places. Mm -hmm. And you being from Long Island, mm -hmm. we are finding quickly that she's not the only Yankee here. Yeah. And there's a, wonder, <laughs> there's a wonderful doctor who is uh, going to be with us in the near yes, future. Yes, yes. And he's from Long Island. Two towns away from where I lived. Never, crazy? never saw him there. And all of a sudden, we're both in LJ, and he's my my main doctor. And how does that happen? How did he? <laughs> God's God's plan, like yeah, you said. God's you know, plan yeah. Is perfect. Yeah, yeah. It's so weird. He's so an amazing doctor. It's exciting. Yeah. Now he is a is what what title is he? Is he a general He's a, practitioner? Yes, he is. Okay. He he is he came from Long Island. He had a wonderful reputation there. He used to go to foreign countries mm -hmm. and help third world countries. Mm -hmm. He wasn't Doctors Without Borders, but he was. Um, he was a missionary, mm -hmm. just a, an amazing man. And um, he came to LJ with his wife. That's I mean, crazy. you know, and just said, I'm going to make this town. Now, did she have roots from this yeah, area? Yes, the wife okay. did. That's okay. why they came here. Okay. But he said, I want to make sure that everybody in Gilmer County or, you know, places north and south or wherever mm -hmm. get the best medical care they can. I it's a human it. interest story. You are going to love him. Yeah. 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 It's exciting. Are, yeah. It's exciting because. Uh -huh. As a realtor, I find that most of the people I'm going to spend the day with are not from around here. No. You know, it's it's very unusual. And I got a call the other night, and the guy told me his name, and I said, what? And, and I said, where are you from? And he told me, and I said, 
seriously, I said, that's my grandparents' name. And I said, oh. do you think we're related? So we spent the day together yesterday and put a beautiful piece of property under contract. And Yay. it was just so weird because Great. he's from South Carolina okay. but has the same last name as my grandparents. His grandparents did oh. the same thing for a living that my grandparents did, and I'm like, this is There's just weird. There's gotta be a connection there yeah, somewhere. Yeah, yeah so that's weird. great. Mm -hmm. And I have this beautiful print that I said, you know, I have no heirs left that this would really matter to. Mm. Would you like to have it? He said, absolutely. And I said, good, when we get your new house built, we'll hang it in your oh new house. Oh my gosh, that's wonderful. But this is a small world. This is a very small world, and we're all kind of coming together, and I think the good folks are landing here from all over from and all it's over. good that we all blend mm -hmm. I was in the downtown area yesterday and I saw people from different cultures that mm -hmm. I was like good mm -hmm. it's not just all the same yeah. same same yeah it's yep. a, a it's a blending of people and a blending of intelligence and mm -hmm. it's wonderful that they could bring all that right I mean yeah I, I'm for that all, all for that yeah it's crazy well we have a couple of announcements one um, we're always asking for prayer, and please, please, please keep praying for Jen. She's been gone now for almost three months, mm -hmm. but she dealt with surgery where they found a very unusual cancer. Very, mm -hmm. very few people have the kind of cancer mm -hmm. she had. She has now, I think, had three chemo treatments, and she has, I believe, three more to go. This is, this is preventive treatment. There's no more cancer, but mm -hmm. it's preventive, and so it's taking a toll on her body, so please pray for her. And also, everybody knows um, our senior producer director, Danny Hensley, mm -hmm. has been out on medical leave, and he is um, taking care of himself, his business, his family. He is um, doing everything that he can to accept the mm -hmm. chemo and let the chemo do its job and let God guide everybody's hands that's involved in this. Mm -hmm. so, so please continue praying for them. And we know that prayers are answered because Hans mm -hmm. Ruford is, is walking proof. 16 years later, the day he left this studio, 16 years ago, mm -hmm. he literally was bleeding internally oh. and was so weak and just, oh. you know, passing out. Oh. It was crazy. And he's a man, number one, and mm -hmm. he had been in New York at the Food Network competition. Mm -hmm. And he thought, I'm tired, I'm, you know, things are happening, mm -hmm. da 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 And like Donald Allen and Mike Dinsmore, they both just passed away recently mm -hmm. with cancer and they were working all the time, working 60, 70 hours a week mm -hmm. and tired. But you don't think about you're tired because you're working 60 and 70 hours. You think, I'm tired because I'm working 60 and 70 hours. Men don't think about, I'm not healthy. They, you know? They don't. Women go warning. to doctors. Yes. Men just tr tr sort of push it off like, I can get through this, mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. by myself. Yeah. Well, no. My husband was the same. He, uh -huh. He, he was literally losing blood for over a year oh, gosh. before he finally went to a doctor. The first oh. doctor, wrong oh, diagnosis. Oh the second nurse mm. practitioner nailed it and oh. ordered a test that should have been ordered earlier. Mm -hmm. And he, um, 11 months and three weeks later, we followed a casket to the grave. Oh. And it just, it is what it is, you know, but we have to fight cancer. And <sighs> we have to know that prayer is a part of fighting cancer. And that's one of the things we're allowed to do here. We can ask prayer for you. So if you have somebody you want us to pray for, I was looking at an old, old program. And this is when we first started doing, I think it was when my mom was diagnosed with cancer that I really was mm. aware of. My mm. mother had it, your mother had it, this one had it, this mm. one had it. It was like everybody I knew, somebody was battling cancer. Mm. And we started talking about that. And then we did this candle in memory of, and it started with 12 names and 40 mm. names and 60 names oh and 80 God. names. And Whoa. it was like every day somebody oh. would call me and say, can you add our name to the list? Oh. And I was like, oh my gosh, cancer is making progress in, you know, I hope, I hope that they are going to be able to cure those hard ones. Mm -hmm. And I hope that they're going to find an answer to cancer. But like the two gentlemen who, who passed recently, mm -hmm. they were both just 60 years old. Oh. You know, that's young, that's young and didn't get to retire, <sighs> didn't get to experience yeah. the good yeah. life, worked all their lives, and it's, it's well, hard. Cancer isn't just one thing. Mm -hmm. It's not just breast cancer, lung right. cancer, brain cancer. It's throughout your whole body. Right. And once it takes hold, it just, it wins very yeah. often. Yeah. But you say, yeah. there, are, there are people that fight it, and, and you do need to go and 
and uh, get the, the treatment. Yeah. I mean, you do. And early diagnosis yes. is so very, very important. Very. And, and we're all guilty. I mean, I'm guilty. I, I'm supposed to have been oh. out doing this chemo cream on this on my oh. arm. And because of the sun and the summer, I've decided to wait okay. a little bit later in the year and do it which is stupid because it needs to be done. But I'm just, it's, I can't be out in the daylight at all. You can't oh. be out in the daylight and you can't put a bandage over it. Ooh. So it's weird. And I'm like, so what yeah. do I do, stay in the dark? So it's kind of weird, but yeah. I gotta take care of it. I'm gonna sure do it. Sure do, so. you must. Okay, we oh. have something going on in Jasper that we wanna talk about. And this is Christmas in July. And my sweet daughter Angela would love Christmas in July because oh. she would be there buying junk. <laughs> and her mama would be saying, don't drag in any more junk. <laughs> Pickens County Thrift Store is going to have Christmas in July, July 17th from 8 a.m. until 2 p.m. in the parking lot behind the thrift store. This is at 110 Samaritan Drive. There will be fantastic finds, great prizes, free food, games, mm. live music, meet Santa, meet Santa. Santa, poor Santa. <laughs> it's too hot for Santa. Fun for all, don't miss it. And this is a little bit of what they're going to be doing. Shopping uh, can make one hungry, so take advantage of the hot dog cook out there. Mm. The grill will be fired up at 11 a.m. Snow cones will also be available. There will be music playing. Our yeah. dear friends, Glory Bound Quartet, that I love those guys. Love them, love them, love them. Gospel Quartet, and on here, whoever printed this did not know what they were doing because they did not start their group in 2020. They started it 20 years ago. So uh, they will perform from noon to one. The local group is um, a great group, and they do all kinds of things for, for love offerings and raising funds and helping mm -hmm. raise awareness, and so it's going to be really neat. Mm -hmm. There's also going to be a second band performing, and um, that is called Stuck in Right Field. And I don't know what uh -huh. that one's about. So. <laughs> but if you want to come out, it says they're from Jasper and they have 70s and 80s music. So come on out. Oh, and again, that's this nice. is going to be, and there's going to be a uh, fire and ice will be set up on their big red truck. So there's going to be another music. There's going to be music. There's going to mm. be food. There's going to be fellowship. And again, this is going to be for everybody. So come on out July 17th from 8 to 2. And that is the parking lot behind the thrift store in Jasper. And for anybody who is from the Jasper area, you know just how much the thrift store has given back and given back and given back. Don Russell went to be with the Lord, but not before he worked 25 years at the thrift store, managing the thrift store, giving millions of dollars to Pickens County and to efforts in Pickens County. He, he was a force to be reckoned with, and I'm so proud of him. Today is also a very important day in ball ground. <clears throat> Today, Laura Mays is officially opening. Now, mm. I love eating there. I ate there four days last week. I had spinach salad. I had uh, it's it's wonderful. But somebody looked at the menu and said, "Is that all?" And I said, "But it's a daily experience. Mm -hmm. Don't say is that all." Say, oh, I love tomato bisque. Today it's corn chowder my and tomato bisque. Oh, my favorite. Tomato oh. bisque. So I'm so excited. And if you get lobster bisque. Yeah, they're making Hans Rupert's beet <gasps> salad. So Chris oh, is going to make a beet best salad. With kale and all that in it. He's going to mm, make a beet wonderful, salad. Wonderful, wonderful. And then he's making a pasta salad. Okay. And then they have two desserts. So that's the menu. Okay. And some people are saying, you mean they're not doing a meet and three? You mean they're mm -hmm. not doing this? You mean they're not? No, it's a totally different experience. Mm -hmm. And we're going to see how this works because the dining experience in this building, the, the building is fantastic. You want to go and see the building. You want to have a meal. You want to enjoy it. The chef was trained by Hans. And I will say this kid is one of the best He's amazing. He is absolutely amazing. I've had four meals and one event from him with different things, and they were mm. all delicious. Oh. So so try it out. Laura Mays opens today officially oh, at 11. Yes. It's open 11 to 4, okay. and it is Ball Ground's newest place to dine with your friends. You can dine on the porch, which I think is nice. awesome. Very nice. Not when yeah. it's humid and hot, and I don't like to sweat. Mm. <laughs> but um, they have small tables inside and then she's ordered some big farm tables for larger groups mm -hmm. so it's going to be a place you want to check out and check their menu it's online they have a Facebook page so check it out and uh, get to know them and um, I just I fell in love with Chris number one he's just a good young man from Jasper Georgia mm -hmm. which is pretty fantastic 
and he gets to work in ball ground. So how awesome is that? You know, he you drive to Atlanta to be a big chef somewhere? Uh -uh, no, drive to ball ground. Worth the trip, yeah. If y'all haven't been to ball ground lately, we are getting sidewalk improvements. We are getting um, so many things happening and we are growing. And that is that is the whole point in a walking community. You want to grow a business, you mm -hmm. want to grow developments, mm -hmm. you want to grow things mm -hmm. that make people want to walk to town. Mm -hmm. And Laura Mays is walking distance from the library, walking distance from the church, walking distance from town. Um, mm -hmm. All the other stores are walking distance. You can walk mm -hmm. from the ice cream store down to Jill's. You can mm -hmm. walk any and everywhere. And so, that's the whole key to a small town being comfortable and cozy. And do they have cafe tables outside? Mm -hmm. I love mm -hmm. that. Yes. I love yes. sitting outside yeah. with on a cafe table. Yeah, yep. very yep. nice. That's exactly what they have. Yeah. Great. So, and, yeah. it's, and they have a beautiful tree at Laura Mays. It's um, yeah. the arborist came and talked wow. to them about it. It's it's fantastic, mm. and it's one of those things. It's a piece of history that's saved. So oh. it's. Worth, it's the place to have Worth lunch. the trip, so for sure. For check sure. it out, and check out all of downtown ball ground. And, um, you know, that's what happens in small towns. People mm -hmm. gather who've never even been there before, mm -hmm. and they fall in love with it. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what happened. The owner of Laura Mays is from Connecticut and New York. So oh, think about oh, it. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. So her food uh -huh. is like Connecticut and New York, and I can just tell you, it is fantastic. Yeah, it's fantastic. Good thing. We do, so, we do, do good things. It's exciting. It's exciting. Could I mention about July 17th for just a moment? Yes. It'll be the 25th anniversary mm -hmm. of TWA 800. Wow. The 25th wow. anniversary. Wow. And I think about all of those souls on board mm -hmm. that flight mm -hmm. that could have done so much mm -hmm. in this 25 years, and they were snapped out. And for out. people who don't remember, the TWA plane, uh -huh. they don't know, was it shot down, or was it? They, it's, it's a mystery, let's mm -hmm. just put it that way. Mm -hmm. People but have it different- exploded in the air. Exploded in the air, boom, gone, everybody on board. But you know, I think about those 25, uh, 250 mm -hmm. uh, passengers and crew of which I knew 27 members of the crew. Mm -hmm. um, but I just think of their lives just snuffed out like that in yeah. a moment. Yeah. You know, I don't know if it was terrorism. <clears throat> I don't know. They don't know. It's still a mystery. But, Isn't that something? But it's 25 years, July 7th. July 17th. So when you wow. said that, it just like, oh, that oh, like yeah. you know, kind of crunched yeah. me a little yeah. bit. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah, as a flight attendant, every mm -hmm. day when you boarded a plane, did mm -hmm. you pray that God would get you home safely? Did you ever think about that? Yes, I certainly did. Yeah, we yeah. didn't we didn't pray officially, but mm -hmm. we you know it was in my thoughts. You know when you hear the roaring of those engines and you're in a, a silver bullet going down a runway right. and you're in the air, um, you know doing 600 miles an hour. Right. Uh, you know you think about that. My gosh, what if? You yeah. know, the what ifs. But uh, here I am, I survived my last 32 trip, years. Well, my last trip from Alaska, uh -huh. I had my GPS with me on my phone. Okay. And I realized that the plane I was on was going 600 miles an hour. Yeah. Because yeah, exactly. that's exactly what mm -hmm. my GPS told right, me. And that's before it. I knew it, we were mm -hmm. here and then we were in Nashville. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh I know. my gosh. And I realized <laughs> yeah. that you really do go 600 miles 600 an hour. 600 miles an hour, yeah. Yeah. It was wild. Now, you did Europe a lot. I so did, yeah. Did, yeah, the international planes. Um, was that a little more eerie to you? Because I love flying internationally. Really? TWA was international and domestic. Mm -hmm. A lot of the other airlines, now they are, mm -hmm. but back in my day, there was Pan Am, TWA, and, and those were the only domestic airlines that flew international. Mm -hmm. So, but I loved, I loved the experience of flying overseas. The only thing that was kind of iffy about it was, you, you check in at, at like four o'clock. I was the in-flight manager on the flights mostly, mm -hmm. on the 747s. There are 500 people just waiting <laughs> to eat and drink and see a movie and buy, you know, duty-free. But you leave at night, at eight o'clock at night. Yeah. And you fly all night long. And then you hit, you know, Europe in the morning and you see that sun come up and you, and it's just like in your face. Wow. And I said, everybody put their shades down, please, <laughs> just for until we get used to it. Yeah. But I, I actually served 500 people um, when we first took off from JFK. Okay, we started with drinky poos, <laughs> and then we went into the meal, and then we had the movie, uh -huh. maybe sometimes two movies. It was right. a long it's flight, a long like flight. to Tel Aviv or something. Mm -hmm. We're talking a you know, 15 hour flight. And then 
Okay, so we serve all those people their, their meal. 500 people. 500 people. So if you have a restaurant, you're serving 20 a day. And then, and <laughs> then, and then you serve them breakfast in the morning. <laughs> and if it's a really long flight, they get lunch before we land. The oh same God. people, you know. <laughs> That's crazy. And a dinner? Breakfast and lunch, all on yeah. one flight. So I know. Five hundred people, so that's fifteen hundred meals a oh. day. And then, of course, you have to, you know, bring out. You don't want to bring out the breakfast food for dinner, yeah. you know. Yeah. So. <laughs> but there crazy. were usually twenty-one flight attendants on the flight, so wow. and usually uh, three or four pilots in the cockpit because if it was a very long flight, you have the captain, mm -hmm. the first officer, which mm -hmm. is the co-pilot, mm -hmm. the second officer, who was a relief pilot, mm -hmm. and the flight engineer. Wow. But this is a seven forty-seven. Yeah. I mean. This is like a little city yes, going through yes, the air. Yes, yes. But I did that for a long, long time. But you know what? When it was time for me to, you know, yeah. bend my tray and yeah. cut off my little feathers <laughs> on my arms, yeah. I said, okay. You were done. Yeah, I was You're done. done. I was. Speaking of mm -hmm. feathers, Susan, did you see the pictures I posted of the little babies that were born on the porch? On no. Our porch? Oh okay, no, I didn't. This morning they were all gone. They were oh. they were two weeks old. Would oh. they have left the nest by two weeks? Yes, as long as Mama went away, and she's not feeding them. No, she's not. She fed them all day Sunday. Okay. And then yesterday morning they were there, mm -hmm. but now this morning they're gone. Are they trying to make it out on their know. own? They're gone. Oh. I, the nest was empty this morning, and I was sad. An empty nest. No, don't worry. I think they probably just decided, I'm I'm on my Two own. Two weeks old. Mm -hmm, yeah, a bird, okay. a bird, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. it, I was so sad. I always go by in the morning and tell them goodbye oh. before I leave for work, and I walked over and went, ah, it's empty, it's empty. And I was like, oh, I nothing got them, you know. But they were so precious, and I've been posting okay. pictures of them. So, oh, I didn't. So yeah. sweet. I'm not on Facebook. Okay, though. guys, we're going to take a commercial break, and when we come back, we're mm -hmm. going to talk about a song. Mm -hmm. The last time Susan was on, I challenged her. And I said, oh, heck, you write songs. Just go write a song about Phobos. And you looked at me like I was going to be slapped. I went, ah. <laughs> no, I didn't. So she has actually written a little song. Mm -hmm. And we're going to get to share that little song with you and the story of how it, how it came to be. So yeah. we'll be back shortly. Okay, thank you. Whether it's memories of your first trip to the local Dairy Queen or your daily visit for a $5 lunch special, the Jasper Dairy Queen has been a part of the community for over 40 years. Locally owned and operated, Jasper DQ is the place where specialty items often become favorites. Burgers, shakes, chicken tenders with yummy dip and gravy, and don't forget the rings and fries. Celebration cakes are always fresh and fast and include the awesome blizzard cake. Stop by where folks are always meeting and eating. 515 at Highway 53. Just follow the crowd to the Dairy Queen. ATC knows the internet is evolving, taking new twists and turns as we add our input, make our choices, and follow the light that connects us all. It's quite a journey, one to experience with the fastest speeds available. Contact ETC. Connect to the internet speed that suits your journey. And enjoy the ride. Whether you're swimming in the sea or splashing in the pool, making a masterpiece or just making memories, writing a great American novel or writing your term paper that's due tomorrow, whatever you do in life, Farmers is here to protect it. For all your insurance needs, call Donald Curtis in Blue Ridge. Georgia Medical Treatment Center now has two locations to bring you the high quality holistic care you've come to know and expect. We treat neck, back, and joint pain with chiropractic care and injection-based treatment without the need for surgery or prescription painkillers. Our medical weight loss program can also provide relief while ridding your body of toxins, pounds, and inches while improving your overall health. Call today for a free consultation, 770-345-2000, or go online to georgiamtc.com. We're back. 
Okay, Susan, I challenged you. You being a member of FOGUS, Friends of Gilmer Animal Shelter, mm -hmm. y'all were on one day, and I said, you just need to write a song about this. So you went home, and you slapped me on the mouth a couple of times. <laughs> no, and I did you not. said, I'm going to do this. So how did you no. do it? How did you do well, it? Well, actually, Jack was on the show with me, and mm -hmm. he's the president of FOGUS, and uh, we were talking about... You know, maybe a theme song for Fogus. Mm -hmm. Well, I can tell you, I Fogus and Friends of Gilmer Animal Shelter do not rhyme. Don't exactly <laughs> fall, you know, fall out of your mouth, you know. So I was really challenged. This took me a while, yeah. but I thought about it. I thought about it, and then when I finally decided, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this, and I um, went to my mind and I got the thoughts going. But like you said, it was such a challenge. Yeah. So I actually called another friend of mine. Uh, she is um, Rebecca Harrell. She's been on your show. Mm -hmm. She's mm -hmm. also a singer. I've mm -hmm. never heard her sing, but I understand she has a beautiful voice. Mm -hmm. So I called Rebecca and I said, Rebecca, I've got like brain freeze here. You know? mm -hmm. I can't go on. I don't know how to do this. And I was trying to write the song through the eyes of an animal shelter animal. Mm -hmm. um, you know, just w where they are and what's happening. Mm -hmm. She said, well, if you're going to write a uh, Fogus song, you should mention Fogus in there somewhere. I said, you're so right. And our, our motto is, don't shop, adopt. Mm -hmm. So she said, you know, maybe put that in there. I said, mm -hmm. I'll try. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I did try. It took me three days, only three days to write mm -hmm. the song. Mm -hmm. And I went to um, um, my friend Michael Cornett, L.E.J. Mm -hmm. Studios, mm -hmm. and I said, Michael, I've got an idea for a song. Can I come in and get some studio time? And he said, sure. So I went in there, and Michael and I are both songwriters, singers, and musicians, mm -hmm. and he gets me. When we get together and talk and, mm -hmm. you know, eye contact and all that, he plays the instruments. I tell him which chords I want and how I want the song to go, sort of mm -hmm. producing it. Mm -hmm. So four hours of studio time came oh, up wow. with this two minute, 13 <laughs> second song. And what's really strange is he's in his studio with all his little gadgets there. I'm on the other side in the other room through a screen, a glass screen. Yeah. And you know we're looking at each other like, okay, okay, keep going. So anyway, I did, I wrote the song, I produced it, and I just gave it to Tim, and finally I have a hard copy. Uh -huh. And I went away and I thought, you know, oh, then the, um, the 4th of July parade in downtown LJ, uh -huh. and the Gilmer County float, the animal shelter, from Gilmer County had these two musicians and singers, and they were on a flatbed. <laughs> uh, Trying to stand up uh, yeah. the guitar. And every now and then the, the, the vehicle would stop. She plays, Ruth Litt plays the bass guitar. Mm -hmm. Robbie Litt plays, plays the other, the, the electric guitar mm -hmm. with, their, with their standing microphones. Every time the car kind of like slowed down or slopped, they nearly, you know, got, <laughs> but they did it. They were not secured. And I'm thinking, you know, I have sort Why of a- Why didn't they sit down on a bale of hay or something No, like that, that would have been okay. Well, that would have been smarter. But yeah. I mean, with all the flags flying and all the noise and all that going on, they were fantastic. They, they blend beautifully. Beautifully. Yeah. So I thought, you know, I have sort of like a, a balladeer kind of a voice. Um, I don't know. It's just not tuned. Well, when you hear the song, you'll know what I mean. Mm -hmm. And I thought these two would be perfect for the song. So Daniel, who knows them, they just mm -hmm. moved from Jacksonville wow. up here to LJ permanently. Wow. I know. <laughs> and they have all kinds of gigs around town. Yeah, yeah. They did a gig, I think, last Saturday night in Blue Ridge. But I thought, gee, that those voices would blend perfectly with this song. Mm -hmm. So I approached them, I, I talked to Ruth Litt, mm -hmm. and I said, would you consider uh, playing the song live for us at some of our Focus events? Uh, you know, all I did was take my phone, and she had her phone, and she listened to the song phone to phone. Uh -huh. Not the best acoustics, you know? <laughs> and she said, I love it. We'll do it. We'll play your live shows for you or your events. Uh -huh. I thought, oh, this is so good. Yeah. This is so good. Yeah. So, okay, but they're not here today, but they're going to, they're, I gave them the chords, I gave them the, the lyrics, mm -hmm. and they're practicing the song. So, okay, long story short, <laughs> this is the song, <laughs> and like I uh, it's it's my my singing it so yeah, yeah. but like I said I'm sort of a, a folk singer balladeer kind of a voice and this is more tuned to sort of a country mm -hmm. and all I want to do is I want to get I want to get an event going a charity um, 
event where all the Fogus um, members can do the two-step across the state <laughs> and you can bid on them, you know. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll bid $100 <laughs> because that's, it sort of has that beat, that two-beat um, yeah. kind of a uh, rhythm to it. So, yeah. okay, yeah. Tim, okay. remember what we said. All right. <laughs> okay, here, here we go. This here is the go. song. <laughs> two minutes, 13 seconds. Okay. <laughs> Four hours of studio time, I know. that we took over the years and nice. Vicki Holyfield we may have on a raised picture on there when we did that event in Jasper uh, it's crazy what I turned over to that young man so uh, if you see something crazy some pictures it's because we're gonna put together some old stuff and we're gonna really share Wonderful. it's amazing in the 16 years of doing television how many places I've been how many people I've talked to how many and it's just strange coincidental weird meetings and mm -hmm. that's what happened and yeah. that's how we happened uh -huh. and that's how things happen you just meet these people and then they become part of your life mm -hmm. and that's life as he planned it because he planned for us to be where we needed to be when we needed to be there for the time we need to be there you left a beautiful home and ended up in the mountains of North Georgia. And why? In love the world it. You, I know. I love, love it. it. I love it. You just you just landed here and I you know. just took over doing what you do, mm -hmm. which is helping other people, and that's pretty awesome. And that's what we're mm -hmm. seeing in our mountains and our communities. We're seeing people come here who want to make a difference. The Garden Club in Ball Ground was a very tiny group of ladies who had mm -hmm. been together for over 50 years. As they died off, everybody was really mm -hmm. concerned that we're going to have no, mm -hmm. nobody's going to be there. Now all of a sudden there are 48 members. Ooh. And it's people moving into the area. Yeah, and yeah. we love that. We love that when you come to Jasper, Toppin Rock, Ball Ground, Blue Ridge, um, if you come to McCainsville, LJ, LJ <laughs> you fall in love you and do. you become a part of the community. You and do. I think that's the most important thing about what, and, and you know, ETC is that connection to yeah. all of us. It really is. ETC is mm -hmm. truly connecting mm -hmm. the world. Because from here, your relatives in Connecticut can watch you today. Mm -hmm. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> it's amazing. 
Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. It's crazy. I love it. I do love it here. I, it took me a while to adjust. I mean, I moved into their territory, so I had to adjust. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. um, I love it. I mean, I love the mountains. And I, when I first moved here, I, like I said, I didn't know a single solitary soul. Mm -hmm. But now I have this group of friends, the Fogus family, mm -hmm. and, and you, and And, and, and you Tim. came here with literally your puppies and nothing more. Well, your, some furniture, but yeah. not even furniture, yeah. just belongings. Yeah. The five little dogs, and yeah. they kept me going, and, and uh, they all passed away, but I got five more now. Mm -hmm. But yeah, and, you know, this, this song is, it, it's very directed to, um, the people that understand adopting a dog, you mm -hmm, know? Mm -hmm. It's not gonna make the top 10 or the top 100, mm -hmm. <laughs> but it's just, it's focused on, you know, what I was trying to um, bring across. Right. Yeah. Well, I got a call today as I was in the studio, and she said, what you doing? I said, about to go live, and uh -huh. she said, oh, I forgot, I forgot. Uh -huh. She was fostering a dog and ended up adopting it yeah. because she lost yeah. one. Mm -hmm. He kept having seizures, and they had mm -hmm. to put him down. Mm -hmm. And she was so sad, and she said every time she looks at this new puppy, mm -hmm. she sees his face. Oh, yeah. And she yeah. said, this new puppy is just a troublemaker, but I love him, I love him, I love him. I love him. And she adopted him. That's you know? wonderful. And that's what it's yeah. about. People who walk in a pet store, and I've, you know, if you own a pet store and you sell animals, mm -hmm. I just don't get it. Mm -hmm. You know, the shelters are full of good animals looking to be somebody's yeah. forever pet. Forever. Don't shop, adopt. That's it. And actually, it was um, Be Rebecca Harrell that told me about that motto. She said, you've got to get it in there somewhere. Mm -hmm. So I did the three bullets at the end. Mm -hmm. Don't shop, adopt. Mm -hmm. But again, my... my Ever, ever, ever ready, you know, <laughs> paper plate. And the reason I have I paper plate. You buy the cheapest paper plates I've ever <laughs> I know, seen. I know. If you ever have dinner at her house. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> well, you know, I have them on my counter because I feed my dogs on paper okay. plates, all five of them, okay. and then I throw them away. Yeah. So they're always available. So when I get an idea, <laughs> here comes out my, my, my sturdy paper plate there. And of course, all the other notes and everything, okay. the arrows and the cross outs. Yeah. But, you know, I got the song done and I'm, I'm happy about it. Yeah. And when and uh, Robbie and Ruth Litt play, you know, the, when they get the song together for mm -hmm. us mm -hmm. and play it for us, you know, great. at all our events. Yeah. I mean, can you haven't heard their music, but they are perfect for this song. Yeah. yeah. That's awesome. Okay. That's yeah. Awesome. I'm so thrilled. Well, right now we are in the South, and Susan doesn't know much about this, but I'm going to teach her. This oh. is revival time in the South, and mm -hmm. I heard great news at one of the churches down in Ball Ground. Five people were saved. Wow. This week at Revival, they have Revival all week long, okay. and they're having Revival over at Marble Hill. They're having Revival everywhere. They're having Revival at Holbrook Campground, and if you haven't been down to Cherokee mm -hmm. County and seen religion and God is still very, very alive in these beautiful mountains, mm -hmm. and so we want to share a song today. I don't think Susan's ever heard it, but it is. Mm -hmm. it was written by... Dorothy Hightower. She has written over 250 mm. songs. Mm. She is an amazing lady, uh, a member of uh, Church of God. I believe that's where they go to church. And mm -hmm. She tells the story exactly how it is. And this is something that she wrote probably 25 years ago. And the first time I heard it, I was sitting here and they were standing over there and these cold chills were running up and down my body because I understand that a lot of parents and grandparents take their children to revival in the South because maybe the parents aren't involved in church or maybe maybe the kids are visiting with grandma. I can remember going to Mount Vernon Baptist Church with my grandmother when I was a kid, about eight years old, and I can remember revival, and there's no other feeling like it. And so this is out to everybody who's having a revival this week. I want you to listen to this song. You don't have to hear the word of God in church. You don't have to hear the Word of God at a prayer meeting. You can hear the Word of God on the street. And I said, that's something I told somebody this morning. I, I was teasing him, but I was serious too. I said, God is watching over you, and he's watching everything you do because he blesses those who honor him. And I said, I think that's so very important, and that's what revival does. The grandparents are honoring their family and taking those grandchildren to church, and then the parents may come later in the week because maybe the parents are working. Mm -hmm. and, and you just realize that if we honor him, he mm -hmm. honors us. Mm -hmm. And so to me, that's what Southern Revival is about. Mm -hmm. And to see people's souls saved, that is, that's it. And so this song... This song was not located near church. It is, it is very moving, very meaningful. 
and it was about somebody whose day went wrong and he did something out in the woods that 20 years later impacted mm. a young preacher. So just sit back mm. and listen. This is Dorothy Hightower and my dear, dear friends, Broken Ground. A young man was praying when God spoke to him. He said, you'll preach tomorrow, a word that I'll give. But at daybreak the snow fell, he was bound to his home. He said, Lord, I don't understand, I feel this message so strong. And he said the word in me, it cries in my heart. you've given me life and more abundantly and I thank you oh Lord for the word in me so out in the backwoods he walked for a while he thought of the message and it brought him a smile and then he preached such a sermon that would give your heart a chill overwhelmed by the spirit and god's perfect will and he said the word in me it cries in my heart like fire in my bones been from the start, Lord, you've given me life and more abundantly, and I thank you, O oh Lord, for the word in me. Twenty years later, his faith holding strong. He heard a young preacher singing a song. And when he told this young man, you've blessed my heart so, he said, you blessed me too, sir, 20 years ago. For I was in those backwoods with nowhere to go. That's when I heard those sweet words and it freed my soul. Oh, you thought you were only preaching to the squirrels and the birds, but now Jesus lives within me. And now I have the word. Oh, the word in me. It in my heart like fire in my bones it's been from the start lord you've given me life and more abundantly and i thank you oh lord for the word Yes, I thank you, O oh Lord, for the word in me. No crying here. Yeah. That is if that beautiful. Get to you, that is you're beautiful. Idiot. You're beautiful. It is, it is a great song. And Dorothy Hightower has the heart. Um, mm. She has mentored so many people. She it's has beautiful. changed so many lives. And her music is just, and it, it comes from her heart. Beautiful. And uh, it just, that, I of know. all the songs she's ever written, oh, that's beautiful. my favorite. That is I love beautiful, it. beautiful. Woo. I know. Okay. I know. Okay. Today is July 13th, and Dawn gave me this book, and I think this is so appropriate. Mm -hmm. The Lord said to Samuel, do not look at his appearance 
or at the height of his stature, because I have refused him. For the Lord does not see as man sees. For man looks at the outward man looks at the outward appearance, but the Lord looks at the heart. Mm -hmm. And that's what Dorothy Hightower has a heart that is like she's this little tiny, tiny, frail body, but she has a heart that's this big. And um, that's what the Lord looks at, your heart, and how you treat people, and how are you as a person? Are you fair? Are you, Aww. you know, do you condemn people? Do you try to do what you can to help people? How's your heart? Because that's what matters, and there are going to be so many hearts during revival that walk that aisle and say, I trust you. And that's what it's about. So revival in the South is a big deal. And it's going on everywhere. And it's so good to see the churches full because sadly that stupid pandemic emptied the churches for a while yeah. and it is time to see them full again. So I'm so thankful. And when Doug said that five were saved at his church, I'm like, yes, yes, yes. So you needed to hear the word in me. And if you, if you want to buy their music, you can go online. It's Broken Ground. They're a local group from Ludville, Georgia. Amazing mom and two daughters, um, and they write, and they write, and they write, and they are just amazing. And they beautiful. show up in church every Sunday. So. Just the most beautiful voice. And, that, and the tone that of the... That is Sarah, who's doing the lead on it. And mm -hmm. the first time I ever saw Sarah sing, she was sitting in my daughter's floor. We'd been cleaning house all day and trying to rearrange and do some work at Don's, and Sarah sat down and picked up her guitar and started singing Amazing Grace, oh. and I thought I would have a heart attack. It was so beautiful. It was mm -hmm. just so beautiful. And that's, you know, that's it. So, yeah, my makeup looks like crap. I don't care. Well, that's an acoustic guitar with a beautiful, clear, angelic, God-given oh, voice. Yes. Oh, yes. It's beautiful. Yes, it is. Really, it, is. I, it moved me. Yeah, it, beautiful. it's fantastic. So mm -hmm. pick up some of Broken Ground's music and help their ministry because that's what they do. They, they minister through music. Mm -hmm. Okay, I keep telling y'all to go on a vacation, go on a vacation, go on a vacation. I've told you about Talking Rock, I've told you about Jasper, I've told you Jasper, Jasper is growing, I'm so excited. <laughs> and um, we've talked about Ella J. I went out to Ella J this morning, had to go pay a, a survey bill and went through Ella J town. All the shops are full. Everybody's excited. We're getting back to living our lives. Um, don't forget to remember who got us through this pandemic. The Lord has blessed and watched over so many. We know so many success stories of people who got off a ventilator, made it back home to their families. Mm -hmm. and, and it is all in his time. And so every single day we need to remember to thank him because without him, we wouldn't, we wouldn't be here, trust me. I know I wouldn't be here. Mm -hmm. We're gonna share a daycation. And this, is, um, this happened, we went over to a church, it's called Sally Howard Chapel. And I always try to get you on a daycation that'll get you there and get you back in your daytime, daylight hours. So Sally Howard Chapel is up where Georgia and Alabama meet. It's, um, I go in, I like to go in through Alabama. Through the West, Pain. the West. Yeah, it's West, okay. it's, it's Northwest of us. But Sally Howard Chapel, get on internet, Google it. It is a rock that a man turned into a beautiful church. The rock comes in on the altar. Mm -hmm. It's absolutely beautiful. Mm -hmm. It was done in memory of his wife. And if you want to just get out and Go take a back roads drive. First of all, pick up Broken Ground CD and play it all the way oh, over yeah. there as you're driving. And then just enjoy the day, enjoy the moment. So sit back now and you're gonna see, you're gonna see DeSoto Falls, which is a beautiful place at the Alabama Georgia line. This is free, y'all. This is all free. All you gotta do is get in your car and I'm gonna say something mean now. I've been so good today, but I'm gonna say something mean. Buy some of that high priced gas to go in your car, that's your only expense. Okay. But, but yeah, do that. So here we go on a little vacation. Okay, I want to see this too. Okay, and if y'all were, you think about this. Ready?
that was so back. good. Okay, everybody got to hear your song. Oh, You're thank happy you. with it. It's cute as it can be. Thank you. And I hope that it makes a difference in some pets' lives. You know, mm -hmm. we were talking last night about emotional support animals, mm -hmm. and um, yes. I've been helping a lady who we had to take her dog from her for three weeks. Mm -hmm. And she got very depressed and very sad. We had to get the dog inoculated and then we had to get the, all the things done to get it to get to go to assisted living with her. And for her to be away from that dog, it was very, very hard oh. on her. It was traumatic. Yeah. Yes. I get is. that. I get that. Yeah. And, and uh -huh. so if you are alone and you don't have a pet, you might not understand that. Mm -hmm. But she had had this pet for a couple of years and we had to take it for that period of time. And I saw her just sink, mm -hmm. you know, and it was so sad. And um, since then, she's just like the belle of the ball. She's just excited. She walks that dog every day. Uh -huh. It's just, it's wonderful. And I see that companionship, and it, it truly does make a difference. It truly does make a difference. We'll get her uh, the authorization mm -hmm. so it can be, a, 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 what is it called, Anna? It's called a support animal. Support animal. Support animal, support animal. yeah. We'll do yeah. that, yeah. Yeah. Because we'll get it done. Without without that dog, mm -hmm. she was just sinking, mm -hmm. and I was like, And the dog oh was gosh. sinking. Well, yeah. no, actually, the dog was doing a little better. Yeah, the dog was but, okay because yeah. she got to go show real estate every yeah. day. You know, no. <laughs> you know, she got to ride the road. <laughs> but, but when they got back together, mm -hmm. it was like, wow, mm -hmm. we're both safe and secure yeah. now. So yeah. it, was, it was a very hard time yeah. to separate them, but we had no choice, and it worked out. We'll it worked get the out support good. animal. We haven't reminded time. people, if you haven't been to the animal shelter lately, they can always use blankets and towels for donations. Mm -hmm. They can always use your dollars for donations. They can always use, if you're in a store and they have a sale on dog food and it's something that, you know, they could use, pick up some, a couple of extra bags and take them to them. Mm -hmm. Kitten food. I was showing a house the other day and I noticed that they posted they had three kittens that they needed to find homes for. Oh, oh easy to do. And easy to yes, do. very easy to do right now. And especially if you live out in the country, everybody wants a kitty around the barn and a kitty yeah, around the yeah. house. So, One yeah. last thing I wanted to yes. mention. Sylvia Harris mm -hmm. redid her Jeep and she was in the, shell, in the um, parade mm -hmm. right behind the animal shelter float. Mm -hmm. She won first place, Yay! first place. I mean, she had this blow up dog on the top. She had her Rottweiler with her, Jacob, <laughs> and she had two other passengers, her daughter, and then the, the manager of VCA Animal Hospital with her. Mm -hmm. But they decorated this Jeep up. You wouldn't recognize it was even a Jeep. Uh -huh. She had, you know, American flags all running along the bottom. First place, and Yay. she had this big trophy she yes. won. Uh, yeah, so we were really yes. thrilled that she did that. And she has several Rottweilers, doesn't she? Five, yes. uh, yeah. Five Rottweilers. Mm -hmm. So you talk about somebody that's buying some dog food. Mm -hmm. yeah. oh, yes. no. <laughs> I had two Rottweilers at one time, and they did eat well. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. And the vet care and mm -hmm. all that that they yep. need. Yep, yep. But, and that's it. Um, you know, you said it the, the best way it can ever be said don't shop, adopt. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Because if you're looking for. And you might not be looking for a certain kind of animal, but you have an idea you want a small weight, you don't want a big one, you don't want to, mm -hmm. you know, you can't afford to feed a big one. But go to the animal shelter and mm -hmm. check it out. And it is on Highway 52 East. Um, mm -hmm. Before you get to all the apple orchards, it's out there on the right, just past the jail. So it's easy And we're going to gonna get a big sign eventually, <laughs> yeah, yeah. a big sign. Because right now it's a smaller yeah, sign, and yeah. you almost pass it before I you see it. I passed it twice. I know, but <laughs> yeah. we're going to get a big sign out yeah, there, so yeah, you can yeah. say, with a big arrow, this way. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah. but get to know the Gilmer Animal Shelter. Mm -hmm. And if you love pets and you would like to be involved, Focus has a Facebook page. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Focusnow.com. Focus I don't, I'm, I'm sorry, I forget. But check him out on Facebook. Yeah, and, wonderful. Uh, Ernie Taylor kind of manages that, doesn't he? He so, does. He's yeah. our yep. go-to guy with the right. computer. He's right. wonderful. So check it out. Mm -hmm. And, you know, <clears throat> when we look around, there's something that's going to make all of us smile. Mm -hmm. Your dogs bring you so much joy. Oh, I you love know, them so that, much. That's the way it is. And we see so many people who, you know, that priority is getting mm -hmm. home to their animal, feeding right. their animal, caring for that animal. A lot of people have a reason to live because they adopted a pet and it changed their life drastically. So oh, yeah. I get tickled. We've got an agent that has several of his own. And then every time his daughter goes out of town, he'll say, well, I've got to leave. I've got to go home and take care of the kids. Uh -huh. And they have five dogs. That I know, he and the, goes those home are the kids. I know, I know, I know. Yeah, yeah. So it's pretty yeah. cool. Yeah. Pretty cool. Thank We're, you for being here today. When you get over your allergies, when I have to find maybe a little poodle or something oh, that doesn't have shedding or anything, 
My life is so crazy. I wouldn't adopt a bullfrog because the poor thing would starve to death. I'd never be there to feed it. So, no, I'm not. A, I'm an animal lover, but I'm not an animal caregiver now. I can barely care for myself. So. Okay, okay, okay. We'll let it go for a little while. Yeah, maybe... I've got I've got Riker Tuesdays, and that's the only oh, commitment I that's make. Wonderful. Tuesday Riker. Mm -hmm. Yay! Excited. So, mm -hmm. thank you for being with us today. Um, please thank you. remember to help the Gilmer Animal Shelter help focus and help make a difference in a pet's life. You know, they didn't end up astray because they wanted to be. They ended up astray because they had a bad situation. We'll see you again soon only on ETC where rivers, Thank you. mountains, and, and good, good friends, friends meet. meet. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you got me looking on the bright side tonight. You got me looking on